The second race of the Mount Darker Series, season number two, heads to Chicagoland for the running of the Wendy's 150. On pole for tonight's race is Jake West, last season's champion. Two is outside the Code Luigi. Then you got Greg Lee and John Gambit. And running out the top five is Ethan Linton. Two is outside Danny Bright. Then you got Steve Larker and Laura Delano, your Daytona winner. And Evan Hunter and Ryan Brommer round out the top ten. And then JJ Bree and Tim Randolph, Julius Anderson, and Isaac Nichols, Alexander Cornish and Timothy Heath, DJ Reed and Colton Yo, Max Anderson and Jason Larker, Derek Hamill and Cynthia Bright, Jonathan Reigns and Jose Fernandez, Cortez Newman and Luke Rainey, Jonathan Buford and Carter Friesen, and then Trey Rainey and Alexander Rowe, Michael Canto and Steve Morgan, and then rounding out the fields, Oscar Isaac and the number 44. So that's your 33 car field here at Chicago. Let's, down, let's go down trackside for the command. Gentlemen! All 33 cars roll off the grid here for 15 laps at Chicagoland. It's going to be an exciting race at night as well. It's going to be a nice little short race as well. Only 150 miles, only 15 laps as the pace car will make the left-hand turn to pit road. Jake West and Cole Luigi have control for the start. West on the inside, your pole sitter. Two is outside. It's Cole Luigi in the number 10. To the restart zone, they come. Jake West steps on the, gra on the gas. We are racing here at Chicago. Not a very good start there for Jake West. He spun the tires just a little bit, and Cole Luigi almost got by him as they went to one and two. Now West on the inside lane, but he's going to get forced to the middle. Here comes Greg Lee to the bomb lane. Three wide for the race on lap number one. Off of turn number four, Greg Lee leads lap one. Got a big push from Ethan Lynn there to make that three wide move. Now here comes Lynn to the bomb lane, blocking Steve Larker in the night four. Larker now looks to the bomb lane. Three wide for the race lead already. And behind them watching that is Evan Hunter in that number 34 car. Larker trying to clear Lynn. He does just that. Oh! Hard to the wall! Two cars! Looks like it was the 8 of Ryan Brommer and the 06 of DJ Reed. Now we got cars on the apron. Jonathan Buford, one of them. Keep it under control. Isaac Nichols, your IROC champion, coming to the front. He's underneath Evan Hunter for that second position. Alexander Cornish is there in the 68. Nichols, a power move through three and four. He's going to get underneath the 94 car. He's going to get to the race lead here. At the stripe, Nichols leads. Alexander Cornish trying to side draft off that 94 car. Behind them, Ballon Hard. Jason Larker is there in the 25 car. He's already John Gamut in the 69. And now up the track, here comes Timothy Heath for that third position. As the battle for the lead is on. See, Alexander Cornish gets underneath Isaac Nichols, and that's going to move him to the top spot as they hit one and two. And those two cars that nailed the wall hard. You see, Ryan Brommer on pit road with damage, and DJ Reed has some pretty heavy damage as well. Alexander Corners trying to clear Isaac Nichols into three and four. And he does it. They're sliding up back here. Three wide. They're bouncing off each other. Laura Delano makes a move to the bomb lane. Derek Hamill, with all that going on, is going to get the second. Laura Delano, your Daytona winner and points leader, moves to the bomb lane three wide. Jose Fernandez, shuffle to the middle. Come back out on track. It's Ryan Brommer. They have taken the hood off of that car. Hope he doesn't impede with the race leaders here in three and four. Hamilton to the inside now for, for the race lead there, catching Brommer at a high rate of speed. Hamilton almost into Brommer. Brommer onto the apron. And that allows Alexander Corsh to get a huge lead off of turn number two. And that was a. Uh, if I was Brommer, I would have gotten down the apron there and not affected that. 
but he stayed in the track and it really affected everyone involved there and he might even get dumped here in a second he's up top three wide and he's falling back in a hurry and taking many people with him Evan or excuse me that's the 58 up there Timothy Heath a lot of cars going by in the inside lane and they have caught Alexander Corners. That draft big here. You can see they have caught him because they are getting single fouled out back here. Ethan Lind is second. Evan Hunter looking for third. Ethan Lind now looks for the race lead into one and two. Three wide behind Evan Hunter. That's for fourth. And now here comes the 04 of Alexander Rowe for third. And yeah, maybe they'll catch DJ. No, I don't think they'll catch Reed. As Reed's pretty much half a lap ahead. Come to six laps to go. Ethan Lynn is out front. Behind them trying to run down. Here comes Alexander on the 04. Just six laps of racing to go. Road to the bottom. Max Harrison falling through. Alexander Rowe clears. Now here comes Jose Fernandez in that number 17 car. Making contact with Cynthia Bright. That was some pretty heavy contact as well. Five laps of racing to go. If the yellow comes out, the race is over. For the race lead, Max Anderson. Down the back stretch. Side by side battle. Anderson down low. Up top it's Rowe. And now here comes Jose Fernandez in that number 17 car. He's looking. Four to go. Jose Fernandez to the bottom. Points leader Laura Delano's there. Trying to go for two in a row. She's going to make it three wide. Down the back stretch. Laura Delano three wide for the race. He backs out of it. Let's Jose Fernandez battle it out with the 82 of Max Anderson. Jason Larker come up into this battle. Delano looks to the bottom. On to the apron behind the 35 car. Hopefully he gets back up on track without any mishap. He does. Jason Larker, three wide for the race lead. Slides up. Almost some contact there between D Laura Delano and Jose Fernandez. JJ Reed is coming in the 35 car. If they can make it to the white flag without wrecking, that'll be amazing because it'll be a great finish. And they do not have any lap cars ahead that they'll have to deal with. Two laps of racing to go. Jason Larker is clear. JJ Reed in the 35 trying to run him down. Carter freezing in the 12. Colton Young the double O. White flag this time. Can they make it? Can JJ Reed run down Jason Larker? Can Carter freeze and join this front two? Looks like they're going to go four wide behind to the stripe. White flag. One more time around. Friesen's in the grass. He saves it. Comes back up. He keeps third. He's looking for second now. Can JJ Reed run down Jason Larker? Down the back stretch for the final time. Between the front two, JJ Reed in second trying to run down Larker. Jason Larker to three fourth the race lead. J.J. Reed looking to the inside, coming off of turn number four. Jason Larker holds off J.J. Reed to win at Chicagoland. Wow, what a finish. We had cars in the grass. We had cars everywhere. We had a close battle for the lead. Jason Larker holds off J.J. Reed. But there's another, another lap. Lee, Reed probably could have gotten to the race lead. But Larker holds on to win. He timed it right. He got to the race lead at the right time. Wow. Let's go and check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Wendy's 150 at Chicago. There are no caution flags and eight lead changes and like nine different drivers. That was a very great Chicago Land race. Jason Larker holds off J.J. Reed by less than a tenth to win here at Chicago. He led three laps. Carter Friesen ends up third. He was in the grass at the white flag and he holds on to third. That was great driving there by Friesen to get back on track without wrecking and to maintain his position. Jonathan Reigns ends up fourth and Ethan Lynn rounds out the top five. Then Colton Yeo in sixth. Isaac Nichols is 7th, Alexander Rowe 8th, Alexander Cornish ends up 9th, he led the most laps of 4, and your points there, Lord Delano ends up 10th. So there's your top 20.
Some guys, San Jose Fernandez was bound for the race lead late, got shuffled back. Derek Hamlin was up there at the front. Luke Rainey was up there at the front. Cold Luigi Oscar Isaac got held up by the lap car there of Ryan Brommer. If you look down at the rest of the field, Brommer ends up two laps down. He was involved in that wreck. Well, the wreck. They got into the wall pretty hard with DJ Reed. Reed ends up off pace, almost a lap down. Ryan Brommer ends up two laps down. Jake West started on pole. He ends up 30th. That was a horrible day for last season's champion. And now let's go to the point standings. After two races, here are the points. Standings, Lord Delano holds it by four points over Carter Friesen, who has had very consistent runs. He is second. Isaac Nichols is third in points. J.J. Reed is fourth, and Jonathan Reigns is fifth. And then sixth, you got Steve Morgan. Jason Larker with that win moves up to seventh. Timothy, he's in eighth. Ninth is Julius Harrison, and tenth is Alexander Cornish. So there's your top 20 in those points. So Delano with the win is now, or, or, or keeps the points lead, and then Jason Larker with that win moves up to 7th in the points. So, if you look down at the rest of the field, DJ Reed has had some pretty horrible luck here to start out the season. Involved in a crash at Daytona, and then, of course, um, hitting the wall pretty hard here at Chicago. He's 33rd in points. Evan Hunter, Trey Rainey, Jake West, Luke Rainey, John Gammon all down here in the bottom few. And I have to hope for some magical thing to happen to turn their season around. All right, so... The next race on the third race of the season will be the Target 200 at Richmond. See you guys then.